Okay, we're just gonna dive right into the documentation here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new directory here. Let's call this Hello React. And we'll cd into this and open it up in Sublime. We'll go ahead and create a new file here. And we'll create a source directory and we'll just call this index.js for now. So we're gonna go ahead, we copied this, we'll paste that right in there. And we're just gonna maximize this. So we can see that we have this, it looks like HTML, and if you're unfamiliar with this, this is JSX. And I just like to make sure that we format it like this. We need to set this up. We're gonna say get element by ID, and we'll just give this React app. So we need to create that index file. Let's go ahead and create a new file and we'll call this index.html. And what we're targeting was our React app. And we haven't quite got there yet, but we're going to go ahead and include our JavaScript file here, which is going to be located in our dist. And we're just gonna call this bundle.js, which we'll take care of with Webpack. I have the documentation open here and we'll just jump down to the API documentation, we're going to be using a config file. And at the minimum, we're going to need this. Now we need to create this file. It's going to be our relative to our project root, and this is a webpack config.js, which is going to export an object. I'll just rename app to source. And entry is going to be our index.js file. And it looks like we've got our S here. And if you don't already have Webpack installed, you can go ahead and run npm install minus g Webpack, which we already have that installed. So let's see if we can go ahead and run that. What we need to do is set up something to handle this JSX transpilation. Found that Babel really handles my needs and has treated me well. Um, it, it handles transpiling to ES6, and it also comes with out-of-the-box support for JSX and React, which is what we need. So let's head over to the setup, and we're using Webpack. So I'll go ahead and follow this. We're going to npm install this, and before we do that, we need to npm init. That's going to give us our package JSON. Let's blow through these, and we'll install that. Now while that's going, Let's take a look at what we need to modify in our config. So we'll copy this and we'll head over to Sublime. So we need to add this and what this is saying is we're going to run it through a loader, which we're going to not process our node modules with that and we'll just run it through the Babel loader. Webpack and success. Let's go ahead and open that up and take a look. We can see that this is our package version, and here's our transpiled JSX. Now, if we open this up in the browser, we'll go ahead and see that React is not defined, and that's because we never installed that. So let's go ahead and install that via npm. We'll just install React. And we will include that in our project here. We'll require React run webpack. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Here we go. So we have hello John. So we put these side by side. And see that here, hello John, if we change this to Jane and run webpack again. Hello Jane. And the next step so I don't have to keep running webpack is we'll just tell webpack to watch. And that's going to now be watching this for changes, and it will just compile in the background for us as we update this. And that gets us up and running with React and JSX. Remember, we're using Babel for the transpilation and Webpack for the bundling.